So in this video, I want to look at the poke tool. But before we do that, I want to show you one way to find new functions and find new features in Blender. So if you go up to edit and then preferences and then come down to key map here, now, this is a way you can adjust how the keys are mapped in Blender and what they do. But when you first started Blender, there was an option to control what the space bar did. By default, it sticks with the play mode. That means when you push the space bar, the animation starts to play. I actually really like it to be in the search mode. So if I toggle that over to search and come back to my window and I press space bar, I then get a search menu where I can search for things like the poke tool. The poke tool is not going to show up because I'm in object mode, but this is a great way to search for various uh, commands and functions in Blender. So on to the poke tool, I'm going to select my cube here and press tab to go into edit mode. And then in face select mode, I'm going to select the top face. And once again, to use our search mode that we just enabled, I can press the space bar and type poke. And there we go. It's going to show me the hotkey, which happens to be control F, and it's going to poke the faces. And what that does for me is and adds a vertex in the middle of my object without having to use the knife tool or anything like that, which is particularly handy. If you have, say, a circle or maybe a cylinder that's got a face on it and you want to make that pointy, this is a great way to do it quick and easy. If you don't like the search tool, you can also find the poke tool up in the face menu and you can come down here uh, to poke faces like that. The poke tool is great for adding geometry to the middle of a face, but sometimes you don't want a really sharp edge. You want to be able to round it a little bit more. So you can still select those faces, come up to your edge and subdivide, and you'll get a little bit more geometry like that. Then when used in combination with, say, the uh, proportional editing, you can get a little bit smoother point and get some more interesting geometry like that. So the poke tool doesn't get used all that often, but it's pretty handy when you do need it. When used in combination with other tools like the subdivide and proportional editing, you can get some neat effects without having to do a whole lot of work or mess up the geometry of the rest of your model when you just need to work with one particular face.